Yes, Chris. What did you think of Ty tonight? Uh, what did I think of Ty? Um, five for 14, two for seven, minus two, 15 points. Eight assists, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I think he's rounded into form. Like, I, th- I think, I, I, I do think, you know, coming back from that injury, that's that's not easy. But, um, you know, I, I thought he was, um, you know, better than the first night, right? And, and uh, ran the team a, a little better. His conditioning looked a little better. So I'm, I'm glad we got him. That was part of the plan tonight, getting getting him minutes, getting him some good minutes. Um, so, um, yeah, I thought he was good. Are you going into this season, Kenny, with a thought of trying to keep one of Darius or Donovan on the floor at all times, or do you think Ty can handle that responsibility? That's a good question. Haven't answered. We got to answer that. We, we're going to have to get with the staff and um, and see what that looks like. Um, but um, he's definitely given us some thought, and uh, you know, you know, Ty. Ty's six foot five, right? He, he's he's not a small guy, so we can also play him at the two. Um, I love having his IQ out there around the right lineups. I mean, um, he could be useful. It's, it's, you know how it's going to be. You know, you, it's, it's, you play 10, it's going to be that 11th and 12th guy. They're going to be pretty good players. So we, we just, we're just going to have to figure that out. Dan, you talked in Florida about Isaac's role potentially expanding offensively and doing some things that maybe he hasn't done a ton yeah. of in the yeah. past here. How beneficial can a night like tonight where he gets a little bit more usage can be have a little bit more runway yeah. in a game setting? That's right? a big one. We we really figuring out his role and his niche is, is big. I think you see us using him in the in the pick and roll as a as a playmaker. But you know, he he's versatile. He can come off a DHL and get downhill, obviously he can hit the stationary three. So um, I like uh, you know, like like what I say. I I would say out of all the guys, you know, he came late. You know, he, he, you know, um, I mean, he's a hard worker. He's been working in Atlanta, but he is, he could use, you know, definitely use a little more, uh, um, a little more practice time, get his rhythm. So I think, I don't think he's in peak form right now, but um, I'd like, again, like we said, pregame, starting to learn these guys, starting to learn him better, man. He, he gets in that pocket there and, and uh, you guys remember Bruce Brown when he was, you know, in that in that in that type of you know type of role where you can hit corner threes, but you can also get into that small small pick and roll and and, and do damage. So uh, versatile player. Jax, uh, pregame we talked about Gameway playing the five. He, yeah, I believe closed the second quarter at the yeah. five. What did you like from those minutes, or what did you see? You know, what's amazing. Like I said, like you don't you don't feel you know usually when you go quote unquote small you feel um you feel super vulnerable defensively with him you don't you you just like you're like okay i mean even, even if they have like a traditional five out there you're like man that that's that's he can, he can hold his own um you don't feel overwhelmed uh so uh that's a that's a real um real plus then we have to figure out what does that look like offensively. That that I'm almost more concerned about the offense, which is crazy, right? You say, "Wait, well, go small." Yeah, all of a sudden you're this. But if you look at the stats from last year, you know, in the last two years when we did go with small with him, our defense was good, our offense wasn't good. So it's because uh, you don't have that thrust guy to the rim, you don't have that roller, so it it um, um, changes things. So we we've been talking about that, what what that looks like, and. You know, with the two bigs, you know, to your question about how hey, you got the two small, you know, how often can you do that if Jared and 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 uh, uh, Evan are, are, are you know if you split them up? So that's going to be uh, again something we have to figure out. Uh, you're more concerned about the defense. I mean, the offensive side of the ball instead of the defensive side. What about his defense is so good when he is the four or the five? Well, he's, which I didn't know before I got to. He's six nine and a half, like. Like six ten, you could argue. You know, he's he's not like a. You know, I think there's some teams they go small. To, it's a six seven, seven, you know, and or or a guy that's maybe he he's he's in like the ninety third percentile of isolation defense. So you can switch with him. So we can, you know, kind of lock anybody up that, that's in front of him. Um, and then he can firm up, you know, firm up against the big. So um, again, we, we talked about his value. Uh, um, um, be interesting to look at his defensive rating when he's at the five and at the four. You just gave me an idea. I'm definitely going to look at that just just over the years. But um, man, I, I want him. 
I'm gonna tell him too much pump fake it tonight. Like he, you know, let that thing ride, let that thing go. I, I just think he's he he doesn't know how good a shooter he is. You know, he he, uh, he you know too much too many pump fakes tonight. Spence. Spencer Davis, Cavs on his side. Um, Jalen Tyson, many possessions with multiple efforts defensively. Um, what did you like from what you saw from him on that end of the floor? And it seems like he's just everywhere. He's everywhere. Don't count him out. <laughs> like, I, th I think he's he's a find a way guy. He's just gonna find a way. You say, well, what's his? Someone said, what's his specialty? What is he? You know, what? You know, sometimes when you're a role player, it's like, yeah, you got to do one thing kind of great, and he's kind of uh, kind of jack of all trades, can do do so many things, and 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 I love. He's not afraid, right? He's gonna try to throw the behind the head pass. Like he's got he's got a little flair to him. Um, he he's a. Uh, uh, Really interesting, interesting player for us. He's gonna, he's gonna put pressure <clears throat> on our, uh, you know, our, our rotation guys. But you know, he could also be with the charge, right? Like the way that you know, with a good team. So, um, but but he'll, he's he's gonna get a shot. You know, no doubt about it. And going back to Ty, it just seemed like he had a nice two man game working with Jay a little yeah. bit there. Um, do you envision them kind of playing together this season? It just seems like there's a cohesion already. Ty needs a roller. You know he needs that he needs that thrust to the rim. He needs to get an advantage because he's a good passer. So that looks like it could be a you know good good combination. Uh, why did Jared Allen play? Because he wanted to, <laughs> and I did not want him to. And this is how the NBA works. He says I'm playing, coach. <laughs> I want to I want to get my rhythm, and and that's totally fair. You know, and, and I said. We have 82 games, you know, like you're 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 gonna get your rhythm. He said, "No." I said, "Okay." So, All right, last two, Ethan and Evan. Coach, just looking at what Craig Porter Jr. has done in the first two seasons of his career. Yeah. And trying to figure out where he's gonna fall into yep. the rotation. What does it look like to know how comfortable he is with knowing who he is, and then trying to fit in with what the scheme you guys have is going to? Yeah, play? yeah. He he's he's a guy. I'm still trying to figure out. Like I I don't. Um, I love watching him last year. I know he won he won the Cavs a couple of games with this, you know, off the bench and um but um yeah, he's 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 going to push too. Um I you know, I I'm kind of on him about just the defensive pressure. You know, we we you know, you're a backup point guard in this league. You got to and he's got right high block guy, right? I mean, you see that block he had in the lane like he's he's he has got lift and good steal guy like want to see him become more more of a defensive presence for us. I think that's his niche. I think the offense is going to come. I love, did he hit two threes tonight or one? Two. two. And then he's got, you know, because you you got Darius and you got uh, Donovan, you got to be able to play off the ball. He's got to be able to make shots. Um, but uh, he can get in the lane, man, when he wants. He's, he's, he's got that, you know, that, that, that body. That, he's got the dribble moves to get in the lane. So, um, but I'm want him to, to really focus on the defensive de defensive side. Um, how helpful is it just to have two veterans like George and Tristan out there? And also yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, especially, yeah, it's hard. You know, you're mixing exhibition games, you're mixing lineups, and, and uh, just some stability out there with the young guys help, helps a lot. And they, they're positive and, and, you know, know the game. So it's, it's, it's great. That's why, we, that's why we did it. I think sometimes when you leave five young guys out there, by themselves, it can get a little, little messy. Yeah. You had mentioned pregame that with resting a lot of the guys, um, that you, you and your staff want to get a good look at just you know everyone else that is. Yeah. You even been asked about a lot of specific players, but did anyone else in particular say that to you? Or George, I thought George. You know, George has been struggling a little bit, which I, I, I text him today. I said, man, you know, it's not about made shots with you. It's about, you know. Be that connector for us, right? On both ends, you got to connect the game. I know you can make shots, and, and but guys want to make shots, so that that, that was really good. Um, good to see more minutes from Craig, right? Got a better feel for him. Uh, Jalen got a better um, better feel for, um, and then you know the JA thing, right? So JA has been playing with Evan the whole time, right? So to see JA like like you know in in you know with with kind of four smalls and, and man he had a couple of uh, couple of Dr. J plays you know I told like you know you guys are too young for Dr. J you know 
Yeah, you're with me. So, you know, when, <laughs> so. YouTube, Kenny, YouTube. Yeah, actually, okay, you write just like that, right? Like, yeah. No, night off, night off. He's been he's been great. Um, he's been really really good. So uh, you know, I know know he missed some shots the other night, but uh, um, yeah, he's 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 doing fine. All right, so All right. thanks everybody.